What's up guys, Trav White here. This video is gonna be part two of my testing expensive versus cheap hair care products. Part one, I did sort of a hands-on test. So I tested the OGX Extra Volume Biotin and Collagen Shampoo with the Oribe. You can go watch it, this is part one. But the results of that were, I actually liked them pretty similarly. Like I got decent results from the OGX, pretty good results. And I got really nice results from the Oribe as well. And I think my final conclusion from that video was I like them both, but I actually would prefer like something with the same results that's a little more middle of the road just because I didn't like the fragrance of OGX. But in this video, I'm gonna be testing the pH levels of cheap versus expensive. Same exact brands, OGX and Oribe and I think you're gonna be pretty surprised by the results, so let's get into it. So really quick, before I show you that, why is pH even important? So pH is important because your hair and your scalp both have a pH level. Your scalp has a pH of around five and a half, your hair has a pH of around 3.67. This is quite acidic on the pH scale. You think of water being a pH of seven at neutral. The reason it's important is because if the pH level of a shampoo is too basic, meaning it's too alkaline, then this can actually cause your hair's sort of net electrical point to be too static. So its net neutral point is going to be between three and five. So a really good pH is five and a half and under. And there was actually a study that tested this, that tested like a hundred and something shampoo brands from really popular brands that you'd find on the drugstore with salon grade brands. And they found that the pH level was quite important in uh, the long-term health of your hair from it being overly frizzy or being too damaged to being just basically having too high of a net electrical charge on more basic shampoos and conditioners. And they found that most drugstore, you know, generic brands you'll find in the drugstore 75% of them had over a five and a half pH and only 25% of salon grade had over a five and a half pH. The majority of salon shampoos and conditioners have under five and a half, where the majority of drugstore have over five and a half. So we're gonna do a little at home test, testing pH really quickly. We're gonna find out what the pH levels are of this $15 set versus this $100 set. I've attempted to test the pH twice and both times have been a fail. So this is the first one I bought these. I got them from the pool store. They're made for the pool. But the problem is the scale only goes between six and eight because that's what you test for at the pool. Cause I, I wanted to film this quickly. So I went over to my local like organic grocery store called Sprouts and I bought this one, which is made for like testing urine and saliva. There was literally no change in the color at all when I dipped it in the shampoo and I couldn't tell what the pH was. So I bought another one, which was a universal one off of Amazon and it'll be here in a couple days. So one way or another, we're getting this pH tested. I'm gonna figure it out. All right guys, so I finally got the right pH test strips. I got just these from Amazon. They're universal test strips. Basically what you do is you dip the test strip into the solution, the shampoo and conditioner in this case, and then you match all four colors up and you basically see what it's closest to. And if it's an exact match, then it's a whole number, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if it's like somewhere in between, you probably have like a 0.5 or a 0.25 something, depending on which color it's closest to. Let's go test the pH of the OGX versus this is the Oribe right now. So the way I have this set up is I have Oribe shampoo, OGX shampoo, Oribe conditioner, OGX conditioner. I'm just gonna dip these pH test strips directly into the bottles. So this is just gonna be like a super amateur science experiment. Take this pH test strip, test number one. Make sure you get all four colors in there. Pull it out and wipe off the excess here and wait for 30 seconds. A few moments later. All right, so it's 30 seconds later. We have finished pH testing. And I think you guys are gonna be pretty surprised by the results. So I'm gonna start with the Oribe shampoo first. That second color there got really dark. So the closest pH that it matches to is actually six. Between six and seven a little bit. It doesn't match five. It's closest to six. And it might be between six and seven which is actually concerning because your scalp is around five and a half and your hair is around 3.67. So having a shampoo between six and seven, 
not the best for your hair long term. And that's the $100 shampoo right there. So Oribe did not pass the pH test. Let's look at OGX. This is the OGX shampoo. This is already looking much better. If we match it to our color chart here. It looks like it's pretty close to, I wanna say four. Yeah, it's under five. It's like uh, maybe right between three and four, which is great. So OGX shampoo, $15 shampoo passes the pH test. Good job, OGX. All right, let's look at the Oribe conditioner. So this one had some time to sit. It's a little darker on that second strip there. Looks like it's around five. A little darker than four. You see here, like, I think it's around five. Conditioner should be lower than shampoo, to be honest, because you're putting it directly on your hair. I mean, I know some people put conditioner on their scalp, but if you're putting this directly on your hair, I think it should be below five. I think it should be like between three and four. So Oribe conditioner around five, which isn't terrible, but I would still say not quite good enough. So we'll give that one a neutral. This is the OGX conditioner. Looks like this one is between, it's not quite as dark as five, but it's not quite as light as four. It looks like it's between four and five here. So this is probably around four and a half. So in my left hand here, this is the Oribe, and then OGX in my right hand. They're pretty similar. I would say they're pretty much identical. Of course, I am a little colorblind, so if there's anyone else out there, you can see this better than me. But to me, they look pretty much identical. So I'd say Oribe conditioner, OGX conditioner are around even, four and a half to five pH. This is between six and seven, not good. This one was like between three and four, awesome. Both conditioners are between four and five, which is good too. It's not bad. I would prefer conditioner to be more of what the shampoo was, the OGX shampoo. But again, if you're using a three and a half pH shampoo and a four and a half pH conditioner, you're golden. Yeah, using a six to seven, and keep in mind, this is also mixing with water, which is a seven pH. So the pH is automatically gonna go up because it's mixed with water. But anyways, let's close out. Okay, so there you have it guys. The OGX pH defeats Oribe. So $15 shampoo and conditioner, I would actually use. pH to me is one of the most important things because it's going to have a longer term effect on the health of your hair. If it's frizzy, if there's static. If I had to pick between the two, I would pick OGX. Like the pH is, is more important to me than the fragrance. I did get like similar results in terms of volume, how long I could go between washes, things like that. But in terms of like long-term health, I'm going with pH, which actually gives me a really cool video idea. Let me know in the comments if you want this, but I'm thinking of like pH testing, like all the drugstore shampoos, or like at least the top five, like the most popular five. Garnier Fructis, like Tresemme, L'Oreal. Let me know what brands you wanna see. I got all these pH test strips now, and I need to test some shampoos. So <laughs> let me know if you wanna see what the pH levels are. But anyways, guys, I feel like I'm rambling now. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.